Hello everybody, welcome to the world of me. My name is Cougar. Uh, today we've got a demonstration slash review for another camping slash survival product. Now I've done a few of these in the past. Uh, of course, if you want to check those out, you can uh, go and take a look at our videos. There may be a link to one of those here in the end of this video. So don't forget to wait till the end and check those out. Also, if you want to see this on the website from where I got it, go down in the description below. I'll leave a link down there. Don't forget to check out our social media. And uh, remember, hit that thumbs up button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification so you know when we've got new videos coming out. Anyhow, what we've got today is the Aqua Stick. It is a, uh, obviously a water filter. Now, I've gotten a couple of these in the past. Uh, I have a couple in my uh, travel bags or my go bags or whatever, and I've never actually opened one of these. Uh, I've seen them, I've seen them out, and even seen some other YouTube videos where they're being used. Uh, usually you see where somebody goes over to a creek, they stick it in the water, and they drink out of the creek or whatever like that. Uh, this video is going to be a little different because I really want you guys to see what kind of filtration that these have, at least as well as I can do here. I, I'm not a laboratory, so I can't sit there and test the water before and after and everything like that with uh, the chemicals and everything, but uh, I can attest to the drinkability at the very least, as well as you guys will be able to see, hopefully, the clarity that this will uh, provide. So let's go ahead, get her open, and see what's inside. Now the nice thing is, is once you open it and everything and you use it, it is reusable. So it is something that, uh, you know, it's not like one time use and you're done. Uh, so there you go on that aspect. Now here we go. It's basically a plastic cylinder with a little basically nipple at the top, a little, a little straw end with a cap on it, which is good of course because you want to try and keep it at least a little bit clean. And then you've got a cap actually for the bottom end, which is where you would draw up uh, the water and make sure that it is, uh, hmm, it's interesting. It looks like it actually has a, has a screw uh, section in there, like you could screw it on the top of a bottle. Uh, I wonder if maybe you can put this on a, uh, like a water bottle or something like that. Maybe we'll check that out here in a minute. Uh, you could sit there, fill up a water bottle, put this on, and actually drink straight from it that way. Now this is very nice. I like the fact that it's got a little uh, clip here, a little spring clip. Uh, just a basic uh, aluminum one, but it's nice that you can take and throw it on a belt loop or hook it onto a loop on your bag or something like that and carry it with you instead of uh, you know maybe taking up the inside of the bag with, uh, with the size of it, which it is about, uh, I would say about an inch to no more than an inch and a quarter across. If you go at the widest points here, it's maybe an inch and a quarter-ish across. So it's it's not real big that way. And the overall length, I would say, it's probably right around 10 inches long. Uh, so there's some ideas in terms of weight or in terms of size, at least, for being able to fit it into a pack. As for weight, um, it's pretty light. It's only a few ounces, so it's not something that... Uh, if, if this is something that you just kind of throw in and add a little bit later on or anything like that, uh, you're not really going to notice the weight, I don't think. It's not really going to be something that's that, uh, that much of a problem. Now, go ahead and check out the instructions here. It does come with this user's manual. And uh, here, you, here you go right here. It shows a couple of pictures there. First off, it shows... Uh, a few different ways that you can use this and it does show it attached to a water bottle at some point here as well as it's attached to something else oh to a water bag okay and I think I actually have I may have this backwards actually the way that I was talking about using it because of the way that it shows it here there is the possibility that I think maybe you actually draw it in from here and uh, the, this this is not the end that you put in your mouth, but actually this side here. So we'll find that out here in just a second. All right, guys. Well, I've read through the instructions here a little bit, and I'll give you just a little bit of an overview on this. This uses a 0.01 micron filter, 
and it is a physical filter that uh, it says it removes 99.999% harmful bacteria like Cochleobacchus, uh, Legionella, Salmonella, and uh, various others. They do suggest that you back flush this, so once you drink out of it and everything for a little bit, you do want to blow air through it the other direction. Since it is using a physical medium to block out contaminants, you want to kind of blow those contaminants back out. Now, it, it, it does say that it can be connected to a water bag or uh, a bottle of some type, whatever, and the way that it is saying it, it says that you actually put this end into the um, into wherever you're drinking from, and then you take and you drink from this end. At least according to the uh, instructions here and the pictures, it shows that there is this as a uh, as the side to drink from. Now, this did say that uh, there was supposed to be an included hose. I I don't know if it comes in the basic package like this or not, but it says you can take that and attach it to say a water bag and squeeze and use it to filter water that way. Uh, it does say that it is good for drinking from different areas like lakes and rivers and brooks and things like that. It says that there's a flow rate of about 400 milliliters per minute, which is uh, you know just under half a liter a minute, uh, which is yeah, basically they're saying around, around a cup and uh, which is seems a bit slow but you know it, it is what it is and it's got to be able to have that time to filter the water through it says that it's good for 3,000 liters or for 12 months now you don't want to clean this with anything other than just basic clean water and then letting it stand up and drain and let the water drain out because it, it has uh, the cartridge inside is something called a bacteriostatic so that uh, you know you don't want to run chemicals or or cleaners or anything like that through it because it could damage the filter like I said this is going to be a test as well so let's go ahead and get into it I grabbed a couple glasses and of course I've got a nice clean glass right here out of my kitchen and I brought a funnel a little bit of duct tape so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, maybe redneck redneck maneuvering because I wasn't sure what I was gonna have to be able to do to get this to work and then I've got some water with some stuff from outside in it um, there's multiple bits of dirt there's some grass and things like that and hopefully this is I'm trying to hope that this is uh, going to focus now it does say that they want you to um, use water and they want you to try to use clear water as much as possible uh, to prevent fil uh, filter clogging. This is going to be uh, a, a little bit more of an extreme test. Let's see, what I think we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and try to affix this uh, funnel here to the end here with, uh, with the duct tape here. Like I said, doing a little bit of redneck uh, MacGyvering kind of whatever. Uh, in engineering here to to kind of make things work and you know you do what you need to in the, in the times of crisis uh, if you're if you're out in the woods and you need to survive you do what you have to do so this will just be kind of uh, right along those lines all right so here we go this is kind of what I came up with uh, I just put the the funnel down over top of the end there uh, we'll miss a little bit of the water and stuff inside there because it's sticking up into the end of the funnel so we're going to go ahead and put this down in here and I think um, a good thing to do maybe would be to suspend it. So let's go ahead and try and make a little bit of a suspension thing here to hold it up out of the water so we can see it dripping. Alright so here's what I've kind of got. i got some duct tape on this and uh, you can see here that uh, it's all taped up and in there. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll A little bit on the floor there. Now, as you can see, we've got the water in the top there. We'll go ahead and let this sit for a while. Uh, I can see it definitely dripping down through. You can see right there the, the drips kind of coming out. So we'll go ahead and let this sit for a while. 
Uh, this obviously isn't real secure, so I don't want to uh, leave it too much. I think maybe I'll put a little more, a little more tape on it to keep it from falling over. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and add a little bit more water now that we've got this in there a little more secure. Fill this up a little bit, get some, get some pressure on there, and try to get as much water through there as we can. You can see right now already that water is coming out, and it's coming out pretty nice, pretty clean. It's not quite a steady stream, but it is dripping very quickly. So I do think that, uh, you know, like I said, with it being charged, it's definitely going to make it work more efficiently. And it does seem to be working pretty nicely. So we'll, uh, we'll let this sit for a minute, let it fill up, and see how much we can... Uh, we can get filtered through there, see if we can maybe just at least empty the funnel. All right, everybody. Well, it's been quite a while here. Uh, actually, it hasn't been that long. Uh, about 20 minutes or so, maybe. Uh, there is only a little tiny bit of water in this left. And the only reason I think that's in there is because it's reached the top of the, the straw section there, that little, that little nipple that's there on top. Let's go ahead and pull this tape off. So, as you can see, that glass of water is uh, pretty good here. And uh, I'm looking at it through the, through the light here, and I cannot see anything in it. So, here we go, bottoms up. It's definitely drinkable. It has a little bit of a taste to it. Like I said before, there was sort of a, a plasticky kind of smell or taste. Smelling the water, I can kind of smell that. Maybe that'll go away with some use. Uh, I'm not sure. That may be just because of initially uh, doing this. I, I think this, uh, this aqua stick here, uh, I think that will definitely, definitely do its job. Uh, in terms of making sure that the water is is pretty drinkable. I think this was a pretty good success. I, I definitely think that I would uh, recommend the Aqua Stick. Again, you can check that out. Uh, the link for that down in the description below. Uh, that is at the Survival Life Store. Also, while you're down there, hit our uh, social media outlets. They're all down there along with it. Uh, on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and uh, hit that subscribe button. should be floating around right over here or right down there. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon to let you know when we have new uh, videos coming out here on World of Me. That's it for me today. I'm Cougar. This is the World of Me. I will see you later and have a good day. Bye.